the commander in chief has used Russian active measures at time uh, against his opponents. On 14 August 2016, his campaign chairman, after a debunked incident, when you say his, who's who's his? Paul Manafort okay. uh, cited the fake Incirlik story as a terrorist attack on CNN, and he used it as a talking point. Uh, on 11 October, uh, President Trump stood on a stage and cited a, what appears to be a fake news story from Sputnik News that disappeared from the Internet. Uh, he denies the intel from the United States about Russia. Uh, he claimed that the election could be rigged. That was the number one theme pushed by RT, Sputnik News, white outlets all the way up until the election. Uh, he's cl made claims of voter fraud, that President Obama is not a citizen, that, you know, uh, Congressman Cruz is not a citizen. So part of the reason active measures works, and it does today in terms of Trump Tower being wiretapped, is because they parrot the same lines. So Putin is correct. He he can say that he's not influencing anything because he's just putting out his stance. But until we get a firm basis on fact and fiction in our own, in our own country, uh, get some agreement about the facts, whether it be do I support the intelligence community or a story I read on my Twitter feed, we're going to have a big problem. I can tell you right now today, gray outlets that are Soviet pushing accounts tweet at President Trump during high volumes when they know he's online and they push conspiracy theories. So if he is to click on one of those or cite one of those, it just proves Putin correct that we can use this as a lever against the Americans. So